We want to find the indefinite integral of this radical function, the square root of 6 minus 3x. First, let's convert this radical expression in the integrand to exponential form, simply because we are much more used to finding the antiderivative of a function in exponential form. So let's go. Now, a quick review from our previous algebra course. For a radical expression, the square root of x we can express this as what? x to the power of 1 over 2. How about cubic root? For a cubic root of x, we can express this radical expression as what? x to the power of 1 over 3, right? So basically, the 3 here corresponds to the 3 right here. Now, square root actually has a hidden 2, right? Square 2, right? Now. The 2 right here corresponds to the 2 right here, okay? So let's do that. So here, we can convert this radical expression, the square root of 6 minus 3x, to exponential form, right? It's going to be 6 minus 3x to the power of, square root is to the power of 1 over 2, okay? Yeah. Now, I think we're ready to do u substitution, okay? In this case, would you say the choice for u is quite obvious, right? So in a way, we pretty much just have one choice for u, right? Which is this guy. There's no other choice, right? Yeah, so let's make u equal to 6 minus 3x and see what the differential equation gives us. Okay, so let's go. Let's find the derivative of this u function and hopefully come up with something that also appears in our integrand. Okay, yeah. So, the derivative of the first term. Well, the derivative of any constant is zero, right? Okay, minus, minus. Now, what's the derivative of the second term? The derivative of 3x is is 3, right? And 0 minus 3 is negative 3, right? So now, let's rearrange this differential equation here to hopefully incorporate dx in our u substitution, okay? So let me just quickly copy down this differential equation again. So du dx is equal to negative 3. So first of all, let's move dx to the other side of the equation. Okay, so dx is gone. That's good. Right? And that's actually what we are looking for, right? Because we have this dx in our integrand. Okay, however, do we see negative 3 in our integrand here? No. So let's try to get rid of it. It's, it's always easy to deal with a constant, right? We can always move a constant around. So in this case, we can simply move negative 3 to the other side of the equation. Okay? So whenever we move a constant to the other side of the equation, that constant is going to become what? It's reciprocal. So the reciprocal of negative 3 is 1 over negative 3, right? Which is simply, which is simply negative 1 third. Right? Okay? And that way, the constant is gone. Right? Yeah. Okay. And this is a beautiful result because we now can express dx in terms of u. Right? In fact, dx is just what? Negative 1 over 3 du. Okay? So I think we are now ready to convert the integral originally expressed <coughs> in terms of x to a brand new integral now it completely expressed in terms of u, right? So let's go. So integral of 6 minus 3x is just u, right? And to the power of 1 over 2. And now, who is dx? Well, dx 
expressed in terms of u is just what? Negative 1 over 3 du. So dx is negative 1 over 3 du, right? du. Okay? Now, when taking the integral of a function multiplied by a constant, we know we can always take the constant outside of the integral, right? So, let's go. So, take the constant outside of the integral and continue with the rest of the integral. So, we have... So, after taking negative 1 over 3 outside, we just have what? u to the power of 1 over 2, right? u to the power of 1 over 2 remaining inside the integral. Okay? Yeah. And that's the whole point of us converting a radical expression to expon exponential form, right? Because we are just so much used to finding the antiderivative of exponential form, of a function in exponential form, right? So let's, let's go. So we've got negative 1 over 3. Now let's find the antiderivative. So when finding the antiderivative of a function in exponential form, easy. We follow two simple steps. First step, add 1 to the original exponent. So we're going to add 1 to the original exponent, which is 1 over 2, right? So 1 over 2 plus 1 is 3 over 2. So 3 over 2. And right away, second step, whatever value we get at the exponent, we're just going to copy down that exact same value to the denominator. So put 3 over 2 at the denominator as well. Okay. And finding antiderivative, don't forget, we have to add an arbitrary constant. Okay, now, we just gotta clean up the algebra here a bit, right? Because this, this looks a bit messy. So, let's keep going. So we've got, um, so this is equal to so negative 1 over 3. And we have this ugly um, fraction here, right? So we've got... Um, We got this fraction at the denominator, which is always ugly to have a fraction at the denominator, right? Then at the numerator, we have u to the power of 3 over 2. We have u to the power of 3 over 2. And then plus an arbitrary constant, right? Guys, do you know how to take care of this um, ugly fraction? Easy. Let me show you, okay? Check this out. Um, look. Guys, look, okay? Guys, I don't like this fraction at the denominator. Having a fraction at the denominator is always ugly, right? So how do we get rid of it? So we can multiply this fraction at the denominator by its reciprocal. Reciprocal means what? Flip upside down. So 3 over 2, the reciprocal is what? 2 over 3. Right? So, but of course, actually, let's do this. So, for the denominator, let's multiply by its reciprocal, which is 2 over 3. Okay, and we've got to be fair, right? If the bottom multiplied by 2 over 3, the top, we're going to multiply by this exact same value. Right? Guys, look, check this out. 3 over 2 multiplied by its reciprocal, 2 over 3, guess what? Every component cancels out. Look, 2, 2 cancels out. 3, 3 cancels out. So everything cancels out at the denominator. How beautiful is that? Right? Ah, sometimes. So at the end, what do we get? So we got a constant here, negative 1 over 3 times u and times 2 over 3. Right? So we can put these two constants together. Okay, so let's put them together. So, got negative 1 over 3 times, we have another constant here, 2 over 3, right? And then times u to the power of 3 over 2, right? Plus an arbitrary constant, right? And then why, why do I put these two constants together? Because we can combine them, right? So let's combine them. Combine them, we get negative 2 over 9, and then u to the power of 
3 over 2 plus an arbitrary constant, right? And then at the final step, we just got to what? Replace u back to its original variable, x, right? Yeah, so we got negative 2 over 9 u to the power of 3 over 2 plus c, and then the u is just 6 minus 3x. So u is just 6 minus 3x. Okay? Yeah. And we are completely done. Good? Yeah. So the indefinite integral of this radical function, square root of 6 minus 3x, is negative 2 over 9 times 6 minus 3x to the power of 3 over 2 plus c.